So Thermaltake's MyClo360 Ultra Air GB Sync CPU Killer gets even better with their RGB Plus 3.0 software. There's a whole lot of new built-in custom effects. You can also upload your own files and Thermaltake have a range of these you can download from their website or you can use their AI Forge to generate your own images. All you need to do is type a description of the image you want in the box and Thermaltake's AI Forge will generate an image for you. This will then show up on your CPU killer and you've also got the option to have your system information appearing over the top of the image and where this appears is customizable. To get this to work, all you need to do is download Thermaltake's RGB Plus 3.0 and you'll find a link to this page in the video description. Go ahead and follow all the instructions and get it installed. When you open it up, it will display your system information. You're going to want to select the LCD monitor and then select your device. It's in here that you're going to be able to control all the options. But if you do want to use the AI Forge, what you're going to need to do is set yourself up an account by clicking on the link. Once you've created your account, you need to create a new private key and you are going to have to add some credit to your account to get this to work. You just need to copy and paste your private key into the settings and then you're good to go to customize your CPU killer. Okay, let's see what this comes up with. And then to get it to go onto the I.O., all we need to do is click on save. And then again, something like this is probably going to be better to display a little bit more information on it. So we click on... Let's see how this looks. We're putting multiple things on it. So it does look like we're only going to be putting two things on at once. So we're going to have our CPU temperature and our GPU temperature in load. And then again, I think that's probably going to look slightly better down at the bottom. Drag it down. And I want to move the horizontal position over to the middle, but we can do that. So there we go, I think that looks pretty good. that and then again if you just want the picture you can just go ahead and turn these on and then click save So I do think this is a really cool option that Thermaltake have added to the killer and you'll be able to customise what appears on the screen and get it to fit in with the theme of the build that you're doing. So really cool and I only imagine it's going to get even better with software updates in the future.